Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about how to use custom metadata inside of Flow and how to update certain records based on the custom metadata table. So before we even get started with the Flow, I want to talk about the use case and how, um, how we came about using the custom metadata table. So the requirement is here that based on the billing country, I want to update the reason field. So let's say if the billing country is UK, I want the reason to be EMEA. If it is USA, I want the reason to be APAC and so on. So one solution um, would be to create a formula field. So basically you can create a reason formula field, have a bunch of case statements. If the country is this, make the reason this. If the country is the something else, make the reason APAC and, and so on. Um, this would be a possible solution, but won't be very scalable. For example, if you have multiple countries, you would have to update the formula based on the country. And also every time a new country comes in, then you'll have to go back and update the formula again. Also, there are possibility that you might run into the formula limitations, the character limitations, if there are many countries that you need to uh, update the reason for. And then another thing would be, um, what if they want to update some other fields based on that country? Maybe there are other fields in your account and we want to update certain other fields based on the country. So not a very scalable solution and you end up updating the formula multiple times. So I don't recommend that uh, approach. Um, so that's where the custom metadata table comes in. And if, if you have never used this before, I highly recommend uh, reading about custom metadata. Really powerful um, tool. And now that we have custom metadata, it's also a replacement for custom settings in many scenarios. So how do we create a custom metadata? It's really simple. Think of custom metadata like a custom object, but except you can deploy this. So let's say if you, you could create a country object and have country field and the region field in that custom object and do, do your flow accordingly. But what custom metadata lets you do is you can have it in de development environment and then you can migrate it using chain sets. You don't have to load the data. Um, so you don't have to worry about that maintenance of it. And it's also, it doesn't count towards the queries. So that's another benefit as well. Um, so the way you do this is you create a custom metadata. So it's very similar to how you create an object. And once you're done creating the object, then you create the fields just like you would for an object. Very similar to custom objects, right? So how did I know that I need to create a country? So it could be anything, but in my case, I want to update certain fields on the account based on the country. So obviously I'm gonna name my custom metadata as country. And then I know that I need to get the region for that country. And this is something your business will provide you. They'll provide you with a table where they'll have the country and the region uh, values for those countries. It could be something else too. Maybe they want to update a success rep or sales rep or sub region, whatever it might be. So those will become your fields basically, just like a custom object. Now, once you have those created, then you'll go to manage and then you'll add those values. So first you'll create the object, you'll create the fields, then you'll add the values like any other custom object records you would. Um, and then my values are UK and USA, and you can also create a list view and then add other fields here, but I'll just show you what that looks like. So one uh, different thing about custom metadata is that you'll have a label name and then you'll have a name. So there are two different things actually. And then you have region and these are my other fields basically and you can create more. So here's an example. So label and country name are required. So think of label as the label and the country name is the API name basically, and then the other fields. So just a quick um, uh, info on custom metadata before we start the flow. Okay, so now how do we create the flow? Um, so the flow would be anything that you would do uh, for with a custom object, right? So now we are trying to update a field on the account on the account creation or update of account. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what that looks like. And I'm just gonna create a new flow. I already have one, but I do want to show you. So we're gonna do a record triggered flow because we want this um, to fire on an account update or, or create. I'm just gonna say a record is created or updated. And after the record is saved is fine here. You can also do before the record is saved. Um, I did have some issues with the country. 
um, country being because the address is a compound field I had to use the after the record is saved it didn't work with before for some reason so just a quick note on that and then select the object account uh, my requirement obviously is it should fire on country so I want to make sure that the billing country is not empty right you don't want to fire this if that's empty so is null is false okay hit done and then what do I want to do next is actually get the records for those custom metadata so what um, get country reasons and then um, in the custom object this is where you'll also see your country listed so it will look at country underscore underscore MDT which means metadata so similar to querying a custom object and then I'm just gonna say name actually I need the label because um, API name is not the best to query for especially if you are querying for the country name so equals and what do I want here if it's equal to the record of the account so record dot billing country okay and then hit done so basically this will bring me everything so if you look here we are gonna get only one if, they, if for some reason you have multiple um, reasons for the same country that's probably an error on your behalf but you can only just grab one record and I'm storing all the fields you can also choose to store one field let's say if you're only interested in region you can store that but all fields is fine as well so I'm just gonna leave it at that and get records and then um, you can just update it with uh, spring 21 you can actually say that only update it if the previous uh, value was not equal to the new value so let's say if the if only when the country changed you want to update it not always when the country is not empty um, do check out the other video on spring 21 where I'm explaining how to use that prior record prior new functionality but for now we're just gonna say um, you know I'm just getting all the country uh, values regions and then I'm just gonna update the record I'm just gonna say update account region and we want to specify conditions and set fields individually count and then um, conditions are met so basically the condition here is that count ID equals the record ID that we are on the record that got updated basically so count ID sorry count ID here and then what do you want to set we want to set the reason equals so this is where you now are going to actually find the thing that you queried so you queried the get country regions the metadata dot um, region so we should have a field called region here hit done and that's pretty much all you need for this one definitely um, recommend using the record prior here uh, if otherwise you'll run into like situations where a flow is being fired for um, without any reason if somebody just updates an account your, your flow will fire because as long as the country is empty I'm just gonna leave it here and activate it and let me make sure I have the other um, flow deactivated okay so now let's test it out so I'm here on the Burlington Texas Corp I'm going to change the country to USA hit save and if everything is well we will have the region updated to Americas okay and if you update it back it will change it so that's all I want to share today um, I wanted to explain um, custom metadata and how to use it in a flow and how to better build a scalable solution which will work for now which will work for any situation so in, in the future if your business comes back and say oh I want to add more countries now and I also want to update another field by the way on the account so all you need to do is add more fields to that custom metadata and then add more rows as your business asks you to and then you will just need to update few fields on the flow and that's it you're good to go
All right. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions.